Now time for Ask the Expert. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths here in the U.S. The disease will claim more than 49,000 lives this year. We have, to, we have Dr. Nile Kumar, who is with the Aurora Health Department, Aurora Healthcare, joining us now to talk about colon cancer. So, first off, what is colorectal cancer? Colon cancer or rectal cancer um, is any cancer that involves the colon or the rectum. Generally starts off as a polyp and if it's not removed or taken care of, will eventually evolve into a colon cancer. It affects men and women equally and it's the second leading cause of uh, cancer related death in the US. What should we be looking for, uh, especially if we feel that we could be at risk for colorectal cancer? So. Symptoms in colorectal cancer appear quite late in the disease and you don't want to wait for that. You would rather have the screening done at regular intervals starting at age 50 or depending on other risk factors. It might be sooner, especially if you have a family history. Um, but uh, by the time the symptoms appear, it's generally that means the cancer is already there. There are different types of screenings. What's the best? Well, there's no best screening, but we have uh, over the years now many screening options available. There are less invasive options like stool testing or radiological testing as well. Colonoscopy offers the advantage of screening as well as removal of the polyps at the same time. But it's more invasive than the other tests. Is this a curable cancer if caught in time? Definitely, and that's the key here is that if caught early, it has a 90% five-year survival rate. And if we were screening more people, we could save up to 60 to 70 percent of the 50,000 people that you mentioned uh, from dying from this. So it's definitely a preventable cancer. I think we have a list. What are the signs and symptoms, though? So some of the signs and symptoms that you can see, rectal bleeding, blood in your stool, changes in your bowel habits, mm -hmm. persistent abdominal pain, anemia due to blood loss, which causes fatigue, or even unintentional weight loss can be some of the symptoms that colon cancer can present with. Thank you so well, much. Well, we appreciate you coming in, giving us uh, that information. It's a very important thing to do and to get tested because mm -hmm. if you get the test, it can help prevent it happening. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on the screen.